with the way the things have been moving on, especially for this 37 national games in Goa, you must have been satisfied with the, everything fallen to its place. Well, yes, uh, it is very satisfactory to see that uh, the sports have uh, already, uh, you know, been commenced, and also that the FOPs and the technicalities of the sports are absolutely up to satisfaction. As you know that we are almost, we are in the ninth day of the sporting competitions. Badminton has already finished and badminton team has already left. Today was the closing for basketball and uh, the beginning of a few more sports. Today is the last day for Malakam as well. And uh, if you see uh, on all the stadiums and uh, if you see the level of competition, we have really made a lot of change and everybody who has witnessed, who has participated are complimenting the government of Goa to have done a great job in terms of uplifting the standard of the sport. Uh, earlier there were questions marks raised on this because since the day you arrived in Goa on the first day, uh, by now looking at overall scenario field, yes Goa has done it? Absolutely, Goa has done it and I would uh, say it's get set Goa, not for the national games, it's get set Goa for many more future sporting events. As I always say, apart from being a tourism destination, Goa is converting itself into being a tourism, uh, into a sporting hub of sorts of this country. And there is no looking back. How would you overall commend the work of uh, the sports minister who has been moving to each and every stadium, looking at every each and every pinpoint? Absolutely. The sports minister has done a wonderful job. It is his uh, leadership under the entire uh, guidance of the Honourable Chief Minister. And the entire team of the NGO, CNSAG, needs to be complemented here. Both the CEO and the joint CEO, they've also done a remarkable job. Uh, we have uh, burnt midnight oil. Uh, as you see where I am sitting, we've been moving out from this room for, you know, I mean, we've been sitting in this room late nights, one o'clock, two o'clock at night with all the team. And uh, here we are, and we are quite satisfied. You have been also be a part of all this effort. So your Olympic Association who have also been encouraged or appreciated the work you all have done. Well, yes, uh, that is uh, for my Olympic Association and my colleagues to state. state but uh, it, was, it was a responsibility and it's a duty which we have just uh, fulfilled. And all of us, including my colleagues in the Indian Olympic Association back uh, at the headquarters, uh, their support has been immense and uh, we've just worked it as a team. And how do you see the remaining days in this National Games? Well, yes, I think uh, it's been so far so good and specifically after having a grand uh, opening ceremony which was a great spectacle, the big extravaganza uh, of sporting uh, events which is left, uh, left to come, I think uh, it will just be fine and we'll be really happy. And you say as far as 37 national games in Goa are concerned? 37 national games in Goa is concerned is the biggest, the most finest and most electrifying so far. 10,000 plus athletes, 43 sports, what else can you ask for? Thank you.